All right, time once again for our weekly political roundtable with Republican strategist Pat Torpy and Democratic strategist Jamel Holly, who also happens to be the mayor of Roselle. How are you doing, Mike? I am, gentlemen, welcome to both of you. But in Thank your you, capacity as mayor, you are dealing with this storm. You're yes. dealing with the issues of clearing your streets and salt. And just before airtime, we were talking about, you know, a lot of communities don't have enough salt. You guys do or how, well, how do you? No, no, Mike, we've been very fortunate. I have made a personal call to the president of uh, International Salt myself and told him that, you know, we are running low and we needed a shipment. So he uh, delivered right away. They came but, right uh, in. They came right in. Uh, but, um, you know, I do, you know. Is it busting your budget to do this? No, it definitely is. It, it, we didn't expect it and it is busting our budget. But, you know, these are things that we need to prepare for, uh, for the safety of our, of our residents. And so, you know, I do, you know, sympathize with some of the other towns who are, you know, low on salt or do not have salt. And I'm working on legislation with the Senate that will allow these uh, salt companies who are on a state approved list or with co-ops to have supplemental sites throughout the New Jersey Turnpike and throughout the parkway so that when we do run low or we do run out, that we at least have a site to go you to. You go to and pick it up and Absolutely. get it. Absolutely. New York and, and Connecticut have been doing this. Is that something that seems to make sense to you, Pat, as well? It makes a lot of sense to me in a time like this. Uh, you know, getting the different levels of government working together to uh, you know, protect the citizens and make it safer opportunities is a good thing. Speaking of getting the different levels of government working together, the governor, who has been laying low on a certain level, we have not as, nearly as much access to him as we had had prior to what is commonly referred to as Bridgegate, was out in Chicago a few days ago addressing uh, the whole issue once again. You had both had a chance to hear what the governor had to say. Pat, were you comfortable or satisfied with his latest explanation and his latest statement? Yeah, I, I think so. I think, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the governor's January 9th press conference is going to be the bar that has to stand the test of time. And uh, it'll be, uh, you know, maybe a bit ironic that it'll be the U.S. attorney, in my mind, that's going to determine whether or not, you know, that that's uh, what it is. And there's no reason to think that what we heard on January 9th from the governor is uh, not going to be, you know, the full story. You know, Mike, we have some issues in this state, and while I respect the governor and the position that he's taken with the Republican Governors Association, I think that he needs to let that go. Um, you know, it's not only Democrats asking for him to go, but it's also Republicans asking for him Why? to go. Why? Because he's distracting you know, we have him, some or? issues in the state of New Jersey that needs to be addressed. So, you know, Bridgegate, we still have people that are dealing with the Sandy issue here. We have folks that, that are not in their homes yet and haven't received funds that they can have to rebuild their homes. It's, it's a year and a half now. We need our governor back here in New Jersey dealing with the issues that we have here, not going around the country raising money for Republicans to criticize our, gov uh, our president uh, nationally. We got a report that an another company that was dealing with Sandy Recovery has been uh, not let go, but is being phased out, in the words of the DCA, being phased out from the Sandy Recovery effort. Are you comfortable? I mean, this is the second company now to, to be phased out, shall we say. Are you comfortable with the direction that the DCA is going on these issues? Yeah, I, I think that this is a, you know, a massive undertaking of which New Jersey hadn't seen before. And if you look at some of the other uh, you know, natural disasters around the country, uh, you know, unfortunately, a lot of times it's the second group that comes in that really gets the ship righted, that you have uh, uh, folks coming in that really need to uh, uh, get the people on the ground and deal with the crisis right off the bat. And sometimes they're not equipped to follow through. But and a lot of these decisions are being made. This one, I mean, we've learned about about this yesterday. It came after uh, two rather contentious hearings where people were saying, we're still waiting for help. We're not getting help. And that's a problem, Mike. And, you know, we're going a year and a half where these people are still not in their homes. And that's a problem. We need our governor in New Jersey, you know, focusing on rebuilding our state here and not going around this country, raising money for Republicans that's only going to criticize our Democratic Party and our Democratic president. Has he been weakened, Pat? Is he weakened? Is he distracted? I don't think the governor's distracted, and I don't think he's weakened. I think politically, for the moment, that uh, clearly Bridge Kate is uh, uh, you know, maybe taking a little shine um, off the governor's uh, star right now, but that at the end of the day, it's going to be uh, his performance uh, as governor. It's going to be how he has to deal with some of these legitimate issues that Jamal's bringing up, uh, that at the end of the day is what this governor's going to be judged well, on We had those forward. extra subpoenas go out. There, there's talk that there may be even more after that. Are, are you confident that when all is said and done that this administration, to the extent that those that have been eliminated already have been eliminated, that the rest of this administration as it is constituted will come out clean, that it will be able to do its job, that this governor will return to the stature and the efficiency 
that many perceived him to have before this? Yeah, absolutely. And I feel that you know, that, that this governor, um, what you saw on January 9th is the story. And to the extent there's going to be an internal investigation, there's a uh, legislative investigation, there's a U.S. attorney's investigation. If there are other folks that are involved and need to uh, you know, pay the price, then we'll see that. But uh, there's nothing that the governor knows that we don't right now. And these investigations, as they move forward, will no doubt get us to the bottom of this. Gentlemen, got to leave it there. Appreciate it. Hope you get through the next snowstorm okay Thank you, as well. Thanks, Mike.